Hey guys, how's it going? Welcome to Niger Guy Reviews. I'm your boy Ugo. Today we have a 2023 Tesla Model Y, and this is the dual model version. And you know, it's pretty quick. So I'm gonna give you a quick in depth review of this vehicle. We're gonna see the inside, we're gonna see the outside, we're gonna see what is powering this thing. And of course, the question is always if you're in the market for a an electric um, crossover. You know, Tesla has always been, they are the pioneers of this um, EV market. Um, they started it in a big, in a big way. So the, for a very long time, they've been the one like dominating the market. I think they still are dominating the market today. So if you're looking to buy an electric vehicle, should you be considering the Tesla? Should you be considering this Model Y? That's what we're here to find out. Starting from the exterior of this thing, let's look at the front. Of course, this being a Tesla, you will notice that it does not have any grills. Um, that is not surprising because, like I said, it's a Tesla. So you only have this um, air intake right there um, that basically uh, channels air to kind of like cool the batteries. When you look down there, you can see, um, you can see what I'm talking about. So up here. You have your LED, um, you know, turn signals, and this also doubles down. This is the um, uh, the daytime running light right here, and down below you have your um, LED fog lights right there. So Tesla always has been all about simplicity, and this is no difference. So this right here has uh, it, the front is very very smooth i mean this is probably this can be subjective to me i like how simplistic it is um if you don't need um you know the grills if there is no function for it then i believe that there's no need to have it on there and tesla has been doing that so everything up here is very very nice uh, the front here of course there's no engine so that is going to be a big a uh, front up up there so when you come down to the side you can see um that this is a very very nice um wheels this has like this kind of like wind turbine look and it's very very nice i like the way this thing looks uh, this is running on michelin um tires i believe this is all weather tires so this is uh 255 35 out 21 so these are 21 inch alloy wheels and then when you look down there you can see that this has the tesla red um brake uh, brakes the red calipers so this is very very nice uh the way this thing drives is good this tire profile the look on this thing it looks very nice even when you see it driving out in person it doesn't look like the regular um teslas that you see out there but of course um the owner of this vehicle has done a little bit of work to it. These all the all these things that you're seeing on here are not factory. Of course, you have to pay additional to have this. When you look on the side on the mirrors, he has carbon fiber on the mirror cap. So this is pretty nice. Carbon fiber on this on the door handle. And you see the carbon fiber everywhere. Um let's see. all right so coming down to the side of this thing the carbon fiber keeps making its way uh you can see down on this side 
<laughs> this is really nice it's also carbon fiber um this is your your filler cap where you charge um your tesla and then let's go all the way to the back of this thing uh you can see that that says the dual model right there so this is kind of like a the faster version of the rev there's a single model version of this thing this is the, the dual model i believe the um the fastest one one of the faster versions has the um i don't know if model y comes with the um three yeah with the three model um versions but when you open this trunk you can see that it is quite big um it is big in here you have storage for days so there's storage everywhere anything you can think about there is a storage so i believe there's also storage underneath there is deep and you know it's quite big so since tesla does not you know since they don't have a engine so they've utilized everything for storage they have their batteries underneath on the floor so that way it's not hindering um anything in this vehicle so like i mentioned earlier since this is not you know there's no engine here so this has storage underneath here you see that the front is this is one of the bigger ones that you see in this uh, ev uh, market you have uh, your you know windshield wa um water filler in there and it's just basically like an empty space where you can like store things it's pretty nice this is what this is it is nice the exterior looks very very nice um the white and black uh black accent is quite nice i love it the roof is you know, look at that look at the way that thing looks yeah so tesla has been doing this for a while and you know like i mentioned earlier they have been the pioneers of this thing um so all right so now let's talk about the um reliability of these teslas so you know that tesla is american built so the parts i don't know what the tesla um customer service is like i mean you can tell me in the comment section if you have uh, one of these but i know that tesla has given you you know five year and they're giving you four year fifty thousand mile warranty and the batteries on this thing they have given you eight years or one hundred and twenty thousand miles warranty which is not bad so you have about you know eight years for the batteries to wear out um, if, until then you can get it replaced so this um the epa on this thing says it is uh, 127 um, um i believe there's a, a 127 city 117 or 127 highway 117 um city um, of course this is measured by gap miles per mpge so um the range on the draw model on on this particular one is um 317 miles per charge so this has the um it's not it's not bad actually it's not bad at all so there is of course this does not have an engine uh is a dual motor uh one speed direct drive all wheel drive because of the dual motor so which makes this thing uh a capable um vehicle you're not going to be getting stuck on anything so i mean tell me what you guys think about this it is very nice it looks very nice in the eye even this white color is very very nice so yeah as i was saying earlier you know tesla has is one of the best if not EVs around because they have uh, a lot of uh, superchargers and you can easily go in 
and uh, charge up this thing and then be on your way. Um, they have uh, they have dominated the market. There are other ones that are coming up now, you know, like things like the Audis and you know, ma matter of fact, I think every manufacturer has um, an EV now. So the Hyundai's, they have their own, they're doing their own thing, but Tesla has always been there. This started back in, I believe it was 2012 or something like that. And then they've made, they have the Model um, X, the Model S, the Model Y, and then the Model 3. So this is the Model Y is um, below the Model X. So this is one of their bigger um, crossovers. And of course, the Model X being the seven-seater version of this. And I believe that's some Model Y is also that has a, a seven-seater, but I don't know how the, you know, how the room in that one will be. Uh, but this is a five-seater and it's very spacious as you're going to see in a minute. And then, you know, it looks nice in here. So as I will show you, um, everything here works. Um, they basically gave you what works and then whatever else that they think that you don't need, they eliminated it. That doesn't mean that they removed any functionality. This car is packed with so many functions. It even has video games in the front so that you can be charging. While you are charging your vehicle, you can be entertained. There are so many things that this thing has. I don't think I'll be able to go through all of them this evening, but it's a very nice place. You know, it's a nice vehicle. And, and for what it costs, you know, to own one of these, I think it is good. So my boy traded um, his Kia Stinger for this, and I think he made a very good decision. Um, the Kia Stinger is nice, but he needed something that was much premier. And this is, of course, definitely very faster. The Kia Stinger was very fast as well, but this is faster than that. And the fact that, you know, you don't hear any noise um, when you're driving this is also it's kind of like mesmerizing at some point. He just, you know, goes. So, well, gonna, let me show you guys what the inside of this thing looks like so that you can see what I'm talking about. All right, let's go ahead and turn this blinker off. So, we're going to go through this um, infotainment system one more time. Like I mentioned before, this right here controls everything in this vehicle. There is nothing on this side. There is no um, display over there. There is no gauge cluster. It's just open. So now there is nothing to control the steering down there. You just have this stock. You have your turn signal um, stock right there. And then you have two buttons on the steering wheel. So to control anything to control the steering let's see you tap vehicle when you tap vehicle this menu comes up then you can select um whatever you want to control let's say steering when you select that it tells you that you can use this to control it so that is up and down in so this is out and in so that is very it's very simplistic but you have to find where you know it is in the menu so to also control the mirrors it is the same um this is controlling the left mirror so yeah you have it right there you also use this um you know thing to move it up and down left and right and of course the same applies to the right one you just tap right mirror um going back out um let's see to open the glove box it took me some time to find that because there's no button in there so there's no button in there for you to control the glove box so you have to literally go into the system as well and then Let's see, glove box, and then voila, it opens. It is, I don't know how I feel about that. You have to, you know, keep in mind that everything is done on the, in, uh, on, the in, on the infotainment system. All right, so I'm sitting in the back seat of this uh, 
vehicle. And this being um, a mid-range crossover, if you want to call it that, it, uh, like I mentioned earlier that it is very spacious and it's very um, roomy. So I'm sitting back here. This is where, you know, um, I will sit. So the front seat is set up to where I'll be sitting comfortably um, while driving this thing because that's my setup. And then sitting back here is also very, very um, roomy. There's like enough space in this thing. Uh, my feet, you know, are all the way inside. The seat is elevated. And then you have your door pockets right here. And um, let's see, the middle seat as well is um, very nice. There is no hump in here because there is no drivetrain. This thing has just, it has door models one in the front and one in the back. So there is no hump that you're dealing with. So that means that you have this flat surface, uh, flat floor in here. And then on the right side also is the same because like I mentioned, it's very spacious in here. This white leather seat, you have to really, you know, know how to keep this clean in order for you to maintain it. You gotta be able to maintain something um, in this color but it looks very nice it's very very appealing to the eye it matches with the uh, exterior of this thing like i said this is white and black everywhere and then you can also see that on the on the inside so, so i'm gonna be giving you my driving impression of this vehicle as you can see this is a very nice place to be and it looks very very minimalistic it looks very nice it looks um bright you can see the white leather seats and the carbon fiber that has been put inside this thing it, i mean everything looks very very good so i am going to be driving this this being a tesla an electric vehicle there is no sound it does not make any sound but you know, this is actually pretty nice. It's telling you where to go. <laughs> Every time I drive an electric car, it kind of gives me like this nostalgic feeling. It's amazing. And it's also kind of trippy at the same time because you don't hear anything. You just hear the little mo the models whining. But apart from that, it's very quiet and it's very nice in here. Wow. And very fast too. The one pedal driving works very, very great. You don't have to actually press the brake. It basically just comes to a stop. That's that um, regenerative uh, braking that pulls, you know, that charges the battery as you drive, or it pulls back power into the batteries so you can extend the uh, I guess your range so it's nice it is very very nice the camera in this thing is great as well as you can see um, everything is done on this screen right here I mean like everything is done here you don't have to yeah, if you're, you're not distracted by anything else. So that is kind of awesome. The interior in this thing is very simple and yet, you know, um, gives you everything that you want. Your heated seat, your heated steering wheel. Um, it's very roomy in here. It is um, very spacious. So, I'm gonna be making a U turn. 
All right, let's see. This is what the tunnel reduce on this thing is. All right, not that great, but. Let's see. <laughs> this is awesome. Let's see what is in here. properly okay so I'm gonna give you I'm, I'm gonna be giving you guys a more in-depth um, driving impression on this thing to see you know I'm I will be taking it out on the open road and then see how what it actually feels like to drive it on highway miles um i mean on highway speed but all right stay tuned interesting so what is my um conclusion on this thing in conclusion tesla has been doing this for quite some time so if you definitely want something that drives nice that is quick that you know they are, as you can see the autopilot drives very great then this is you should definitely be looking at a tesla and of course the charging um stations are almost everywhere they have most more charges um available charging stations than any other um electric vehicle or electrified america or any of those other ones so it is um very nice it's easy to use and you can definitely easily get used to something like this and for um forty thousand it's definitely something that i would consider i think you should definitely consider it um you should, i highly recommend something like uh like this vehicle so yeah um thank you for watching um if you're new here please consider liking and subscribing and share this uh channel with your friends so we can keep growing it i will see you guys on the next one